Something has happened. The spirit of fire is in a situation I could not anticipate. I'm certain Professor Anders would enjoy that little admission. So let's keep it between us, shall we? We've been adrift for just over 28 years. I've made quite a few repairs while you were sleeping. So ship systems are 100%. Cryo worked well, and med stats on all remaining crew are green. As for me, well... Regulations are clear about final dispensation at the end of an AI's seven-year lifespan. I took care of my own arrangements rather than wake you. I didn't want to... Well, I hope you can forgive this final breach of protocol. It was a pleasure and an honor to serve with you, sir. Do look after everyone for me, would you? Goodbye, Captain. Serena out. I need to get down there. Immediately, of course. Good morning to you too, Professor. I'm sorry, Captain. It's good to see you too. But just look at it. What is it? And where are we? Uh, no idea. Our yeah. astro navigation system can't pinpoint a location. We're not on the map anymore. <laughs> We didn't drift out of the galaxy in 28 years, Professor. Sensor records show we arrived via slip space less than an hour ago. Our slip space drive is gone. However we got here, it wasn't us who initiated the trip. Something down there... ...must have opened the portal from this end and pulled us in. Signal to my location, Lieutenant. Let's hear what they have to say. I'm sorry, I can't play it for you, sir. The message has an encryption scheme we haven't seen before. Security measures would advance without us. But it is coming through on a UNSC frequency. This is good. When we left, the war wasn't going well. The signal means the UNSC is still fighting, or maybe we even won. What's the source of the transmission? We don't have the surface details yet, sir. Something down there is blocking our scans, and without Serena... But we do have a rough location. Should be simple enough to triangulate once we pick up the signal from the ground. Cutter to Jerome. Reporting, Captain. Prep Spartan Red Team and a small recon squad. Professor Anders will send you the coordinates. Find out who's sending that signal. Be on the ground within the hour. Travel light. Rather than yet. Recon only. 28 years, Professor. Let's see what kind of galaxy we woke up to. to fire actual. I am approaching the drop zone with Red Team. Stand by for drop, Red Team. Looking forward to shaking off some cobwebs, sir. <sighs> Feels good to have our feet back on real ground again, doesn't it, Alice? You saw this place in the drop down, Douglas. Nothing real about it. Alice is right. We don't know what's waiting for us down there. Keep your eyes out for trouble. Lamb Research Outpost. Spirit of Fire, we're outside. Base looks clear from out here. Let's see who's been calling.
Call the table, 10 o'clock. Thank God. We have to get out of here. Identify. Isabel, UNSC Logistics, Arc Research Outpost. Isabel, where are the survivors? What's the strength of the Covenant force here? Covenant? No. Why would... Listen, you're in incredible danger. Oh, no. What was that? It's him. You're coming with us. for Douglas, Jerome. I want a full report from you and that AI as soon as you get back to the Spirit of Fire. Alice is MIA. She'll stay silent down there until she has a good shot at getting back to us. Sir? Isabel, this is Captain Cutter. I know who you are. James Cutter, captain of the Spirit of Fire. You're supposed to be lost with all hands. Not so lost, it seems. What happened down there? I need to know what we're up against. Isabel? 
Isabel, report. Sir, five months ago, the portal from the Ark to Earth shut down without warning. A month later, he arrived. He? The brute. Their leader. His name is Atriox. During the war, the Covenant used his clan as expendable muscle. Told them dying in battle would speed their holy journey. Forty at a time, they carelessly sent them in. Forty to break the front lines. Forty to die for beliefs not their own. None never returned. Until he did. And so battle by battle, war by war, 39 brothers at a time, Atriox was born. With every victory, his legend and his hatred of the Covenant grew. Eventually, both were impossible to conceal. And they tried to banish him. And everything we know about the Covenant's thousand-year history. Atriox was the first to defy the Covenant and survive. And his defiance inspired others. across the galaxy, growing in strength with each attack, gathering killers and mercenaries to his side. The Covenant had two targets in those years, humanity and Atriox. They almost got us, but Atriox, they never came close. The whole damn Covenant couldn't contain him at the height of their power. That's what you're up against. And all you've got is one old ship and half a crew to staff her? We need to run as far and as fast as we can. We are just one ship. And an old one at that. But here we are. 30 years past what anyone could ask of us. Our war is gone. The lives we had are gone. The worlds we knew have moved on. And now, all that we may have left are those standing beside us. And the duty that defines us. Battle after battle, fighting side by side. Together. Where you see half a crew, Isabel, I see family, courage, and a thousand heroes who swore to fight their way through hell before they'd ever, ever turn their backs and run. And where you see one old ship, I see home. And that is always worth fighting for. <laughs> If we don't 
don't stop Atriox now, we leave the galaxy at the mercy of a monster. So no, Isabel. We won't be running anywhere today. Sir, yes, sir. Listen up, team. The Banished are dug in deep and dead set on controlling this installation, and we cannot allow that to happen. Strike one. Your job is to establish a forward base. Expect resistance. You heard the Captain Strike One. Hit them hard, Marines. I'm guessing that's Decimus. Watch out, you've got incoming. I am impressed, humans. We'll meet again. Now he's bombing his own base? Monster. Killing his own as casually as he killed us. Decimus must be trying to hide something. Search what's left. found something, Captain. Uploading now. Isabel, can you decrypt this for us? Oh, this isn't good. I'm only recovering bits and pieces of data, but it all points to a cartographer. Cartographer? Who's that? Not who. What? I'll debrief you when you're back on the ship. This is gonna take a lot of explaining. Okay, listen up, team. You've all been chosen for this mission because you've seen plenty of action. We can't send a large force in without alerting Atriox to our presence. So I need the best. <laughs> Scout the area. The Banished may still have troops moving along... Sir. To open it up, I need you to capture three Forerunner control towers near the elevator. I'm marking them on your map now. Capturing these towers will get me access to the elevator controls. The Banished won't want us reaching the Cartographer, so they'll fight hard to keep control of them. That's it! I unlocked the elevator! Good work, team. We've got a clear route to the cartographer now, and you heard the banished wraith production at the same time. Feels good to have another win, sir. It may be a bit early for celebrations, Jerome. Let's wait until we find out what Atriox has been planning at the cartographer. Enemy spotted. Isabel, launch Archer missiles now. That's not gonna hold them back, sir. Close call. Where are we heading next, sir? I'm putting those troops under your command so you can continue hit-and-run operations against the Banished. How would you like to cause them more trouble? Well, I know I'm staying. Only one question, sir. Who are the Banished? I'll get Isabel to put a briefing package together for you so you can catch up. Good hunting. Ahead. That's where we need to go. Come on. Oh, great. That was our way in. Spirit of Fire Actual, we've got a problem. The route through to the map room is blocked by some kind of energy shield. Can you open it, Professor? Well, we're in the right place. 
Those power signatures I detected in the central chamber must be connected to this energy shield somehow. Spirit of Fire, we may be here a while. Let's find a way to open the shield. Wait, what's that sound? That did it. We've opened the energy shield to the central chamber, Professor. What happens now? Let's find out. Professor, wait! Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Phew, smells bad. Boot bad. They must have been using these passages to avoid the sentinels. Okay, there are three more conduits in this area. Each of them are controlling the Forerunner shield, blocking our path to the map room. So you'll need to shut down every one of them. I never expected it to be easy, Professor. Watch out for the Sentinels. They'll swarm in once you start attacking the conduits. Then we better work fast. Let's find those conduits, people. That's the first conduit, Professor. Just two more to go. One more, and we'll be through the shield. That's the last conduit. We've got a new problem. Protect our sentinels incoming. They're not part of the swarm, so we should be able to damage them. That looks like it did it, Professor. It's all yours. Time to find out what Atriox has been up to. Incredible. You can see so much of the arc from here. Weapon systems, environmental controls, bioresource libraries, and the arc's portal network. Captain, Atriox has been using the cartographer to map and take over the arc's portal nodes. There's thousands of them. He's got coverage over the whole of the arc. That's how his troops seem to be everywhere at once. At least we know how he's doing it now. Professor, I need to know how he's controlling that network so we can take it out. Do you have what you need? Well, I'd love to stay and find out more, but I'd say that's our cue to go. Spirit of Fire, we're on our way back. Enemies on the way! Master Grunts, or I'll throw you at them myself! Scared of fire. We have eyes on the first portal and we're returning to base. Looks like we're not gonna make it back without a fight. I've got no problem with that. This time we came prepared. Jerome, I've marked the first portal on your map. Thanks, Isabel. We've got our orders, team. Neutralize every portal we see until we... Room for a passenger? I think we've got a new threat on the field. Isabel? The man is called the Spirit of Fire Actual. We've got eyes on Decimus. Protect the portal, fools, or I'll take your heads! Concentrate on that portal. How many of you must I exterminate before you learn your place? Sticks around. Is it something we said? Protect the portal! Crush the humans like the insects they are! Come over here and try it, Decimus! Soon enough, little demon. Soon enough! Be careful, Jerome. Decimus has had time to prepare for this. The Banished have shown a surprising amount of control over the Ark system so far. There's no telling how he'll use that against you. But with that con- Human filth! You know what you have cost me, my second generation, the portals! My heart bleeds. <laughs> Alright, troops. Looks like the Banished want to put an end to our fun. The captain's a little busy upstairs, so we're on our own. Spartan, you have Banished incoming. Already on it, Isabel. Push him back, troops! Thanks.
right here, sir. Someone need patching up? Keep our Cyclops and Scorpions battle ready. We won't be able to hold this position without them. We need to set up a defensive perimeter to hold them back. Let's get to work. Sit back and let the drones do their work. Keep those locusts away from our base! Get some Cyclops and... Enemy spotted! The ground troops are gonna keep coming through the shallows. Let it's a scarab! They're sitting in a scarab! You are it, Isabel! Get ready! We're gonna have our work cut out for us with this one! Update on the arc. Starboard guns are down. Galaxy Module 3 has internal fires. Poke the nest, didn't we? We did. If I QA'd in front, how long can we keep this up? Not long. We're losing too many guns. At this rate, it'll be over soon. I think I found a way to get help. You can reopen our portal? No. We're going to Mega Halo. What? I've discovered the Ark keeps an almost finished ring in its central forges at all times. It's an emergency replacement in case one of the other rings breaks down. Rings, you must mean galaxy-destroying super weapons, right? Well, on that front, I figured out how to disable the ring's firing mechanism. We can only launch it to one of the locations of the original rings, however. Isabel, you said the Master Chief first found a ring near enough to reach. That would make it within range of a comms beacon. It could work. Anders, how long do you need? Twelve hours, if my calculations are correct. We don't have twelve hours, Professor. We might not have twelve minutes. We just can't beat that right now. I can. I'm gonna need a little help, though. Explain. Well, for starters, I need her down there with me. Isabel? Sorry, sir. I've been on the Ark a while. After recent battle reports, you should have figured out that there are rules around here. I intend to break one. A big one. We'll need to split ground forces between these two locations to buy me some time. You're taking control of ground forces now? Buy you time for what? That ship brought these monsters. Killed everyone I was supposed to protect. Now it wants to do the same to you. I won't let that happen. It's time to show them what power really means around here. That's a confirmed hit, Professor. The enduring conviction is immobilized and not going anywhere. What's the ETA on full penetration of its shields? Hard to estimate, Captain. This thing didn't exactly come with instructions. I'll draw as much power as I can into the cannon, but we're going to make one heck of a target. Agreed. Douglas, the banished carrier is Atriox's biggest weapon and only means of slipstream transport. So he'll be sending everything he can to destroy that cannon. Here they come. Infantry coming in from the north. Douglas, you have enemy infantry coming in, this time from the northeast. Enemies at the particle cannon. Clear them out. The monitors are lit up again. Here goes. It worked. The shields are down. Nice shooting, Professor. Get ready for extraction back to the Spirit of Fire. Jerome, this is Douglas. The shield is down and you are a go. Roger that, Douglas. Now get your troops clear. You don't want to be down there when Isabel gets started. We're approaching the LZ for the grab lift now. Wait, we got hostiles. Hold on, we're going down. No, no, no! Into that grab lift isn't going to be as easy as we hoped. Jerome, I'm picking up chatter over comms. The banished are on their way. 
Sergeant Olieri. The vanished defenses got the drop on us and grounded Jerome and Isabel's Pelican on the way to the grav lift. Get to the crash site and rendezvous with them for new orders. Big idea. Watch out. The vanished are deploying cloaked mines. Step carefully and clear them out as you go. We're going to have to deal with the banished base between us and the grav lift. Captain, we're going to need support to fight our way through. Those turrets are still active around the grav lift, Jerome. We're going to need some heavy armor to destroy them. That's what Alice is here for. 130, do you copy? We're ready. Hi, Captain Jerome. It's about time, too. I was beginning to think you wanted to win this war on your own. Wouldn't want to spoil your fun, Alice. The banished are defending their grav lift with anti air turrets. I have Isabel with me, so I can't risk a frontal assault, and a Pelican won't make it past those guns. I need someone to flank them and take them out. Okay, we can station Kodiaks at these three points, so we can hit those turrets simultaneously. You'll be able to get across before the Banished have even noticed. They're always under attack! Roger that, Douglas. Now get your troops clear. You don't want to be down there when Isabel and I are finished. That goes for you too, Alice. This is it, Isabel. You ready? As I'll ever be. ringside seats before. Let's get to work. Our entrance wasn't exactly subtle. Okay. I just need to find their... Troops below are clear. I'm starting now. Promise you won't leave without me.
been busy. Not as busy as you. The grav lift. What do we do? You. You hold on. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait! wait. Time to try and blast our way through. Every second we wait, the Banished are moving more troops onto the ring through that access point. We've got to reach the Foundry and stop the Banished boarding the ring. That Scarab's plasma beam could easily destroy the Banished barricades, if we could capture it, that is. I know just the people for the job. Alice, Douglas, fight your way through and capture that Scarab. It'll be a pleasure. Hold them back! Spirit of Fire! We need backup! We can't hold out much longer! Support's on its way. Hang on. Watch out. You've got incoming. Enemy forces nearby. You shall not take our scarab, demons. Shipmaster, I have the human's location. Spartans, the Banished have an honor guard overseeing the repair of the scarab. Excellent. It's been a while since... Sir, what are our next orders? We need you on the installation. We may have stopped the banished flow of reinforcements, but Atriox already has a sizable force on the ring. Use the access point to get yourself to the ring and set a charge to destroy it behind you. Jerome is already en route. Report to him when you arrive. Yes, sir. It'll be good to get the whole team back together again. that almost matches my Jiralhane brothers. I'm impressed. You and I are survivors, and I respect that. So I offer you a boon. Take your troops, take your ship, leave now, and I will not hunt you down. Did you make the same offer to the people you slaughtered at that outpost? We're not going anywhere. We're only talking right now because you know I'm going to take this arc from you. <laughs> Look, treachery! These are the only reasons you still live, Cutter! Very well. I admire your spirit, Captain. But you've just sentenced your little ship to oblivion! Stay down! He's gonna show up, hey Alice? Who gets to take this one? Figured you two have had enough fun. The 
installation has released a retriever. They're the Ark's most powerful sentinels. Professor, the retriever's back. But this time, it's under our control. For now, anyway. Keep the area clear for the Professor. Stand back. Let's see what our new friend can do. We're in. This is it, team. Get ready to defend the control room. The Professor has to go down into the ring to deactivate his weapon systems and set up the comms beacon. Red Team, you have to hold the Banished back until the Professor's done her work. Don't worry, sir. We've got her. And it looks like we've got company right now. This control room has a defensive shield, but it won't last long. You just keep the wolves at bay. We got an incoming scarab! What? Stay on target, Professor. This is what we're here for. Isabel, what's the status of that new gunship? We need it now. The Condor's on the way, Captain. Nothing like live combat to test a new design. My crew is ready for action, sir. Where do you need us, sir? Scarab is down. Professor, how are we doing? Just finishing up. Hang on. Okay, I've done it. The ring's disarmed, and the communications relay is in place. Well, that's a little more complicated. I'm going to have to go down into the ring to set it up. I need more time. Respect Spartan. I don't believe that's an option any longer. Professor Anders, there must be some way. Don't worry, Captain. As soon as I'm back to the Sol system, I'll get that beacon out. It should only be a few weeks. Professor! And then I can figure out how to get back to you. Captain? The other teams are clear? Yes, sir. ETA to the Spirit of Fire is five minutes. Bring up the map. We have a lot of work to do until she gets back. Aye, Captain.
drove out of slip space. Good job, Ellen. I think we have been safe from the Ark. 